use Google search for topic ideas and tags. This, this is called Google search, you're most probably totally familiar with it, but it's called Google search. Okay, now, um, can someone give me a topic they think they'd like to write about? <laughs> Skin care. <laughs> Skin care. Okay, so I'm going to. This is this is what people are actually searching for on Google. So you want to write a topic on skincare, and look, skincare product reviews. You could easily do a skincare product review, or you might want to write skincare for men, because people are so. So people are searching for these mm -hmm. on Google. Okay, G give me another topic. Organic gardening. Okay, let's. Okay. Not organic. Okay, I'll just put gardening. Okay. So people are looking for gardening tips, gardening supplies, gardening magazines. Oh, I see that. Okay, so now I mess about on this totally and I go how to random letter R. Ooh. <laughs> okay, there's, you know, this is what people are looking for on Google. <laughs> some of them are oh, funny. <laughs> some of them are very funny. Oh, look, people are looking for how to reset an iPod. If I know that, I can write an article on it because I know that people are looking. Mm -hmm. how, do, how do I remove anti spyware oh, software? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I just I do how to. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and sometimes you go how to lose and do a random H, mm -hmm. how to lose hip fat. How to lose honor in ebony. There's a lot. My boys are into video games. I keep saying, write a how-to for, you know, how do you do this? Yeah. Video games is a high up on, on earnings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely, how to lose weight's a huge one. Um, how to lose weight fast. How to lose weight without exercise. Okay. Um, it, it's really an oversaturated market in, on the internet. So, let me show you. And there's a Google tool. Use Google search. So it, that's called Google search, which you're all, you're all familiar with. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know it was called Google search. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you about Google AdWords. They set this, this up for um, the person that is putting the advert up, that is paying for the advert, so that they know the price. It's called cost per click, CPC. And they've put this site up. And a little while ago, they made it for account holders only. Okay, so I'll just I'll tell you how to get around. It's a wonderful site. And yeah, all my notes will okay. get emailed to you. Okay. So um, now to use this site, you have to be logged in. I think I'm I'm actually logged. Oh, it doesn't say I'm signed in. But we'll see. If if you're not signed in, it throws you out after about 30 seconds. Okay, but see this here. This so this is currently in beta, but this is the previous interface which doesn't throw you out. So in the short term, this is the one I suggest you use. Um, but in the long term, this is going to disappear. Okay, so I was I was here, Google keywords. And this, I, I use this tool a lot, okay? So, um, in the, so I, I use this because it's the newer interface, but until you get your account, until you get your Google account, you're going to have to click here and use the previous interface, okay? And it, they, they're slightly different, and I was used to using this one, and I started using this one, it was confusing. So I'm going to go over to the previous interface. Okay. Now, what are we going to write about? We're going to write about gardening. Whoops. Now, you know I said make your article interesting to people and robots. This is how you make it interesting to robots. Okay. Now, um, yeah, it's it's complicated. I'll, Okay, we are interested in CPC, cost per click. Okay, and this can be sorted from high to low. That's low to high. Mm. This can be sorted high to low. Now, 
as I say, I suggest you write 10 hubs before you really worry about this page. And then when you're familiar with this page, you can go back and edit your, the hubs that you've written. Now there's a kind of ideal formula of what you're looking for. So I want to write a hub about gardening. And they, these are the keywords. And some give more than others, but some is a saturated market. Remember, I, gardening looks a good one, actually. Let's lose weight. Okay, I mean, let's write about losing weight. Mm -hmm. um, you've all gone quiet on me. Is this confusing? Okay, this, this is advertiser competition. Mm -hmm. And if this is full, then enough people have written about it that if you, if you wrote an, write an article, one of your keywords is weight loss programs. <laughs> Incorrect spelling. <laughs> weight lose programs. <laughs> lose weight mm -hmm. online. You write an article, you most probably won't get a Google ad on that article. Mm. Now this one has advertising space. So lose rapid weight. Mm. Somebody is willing to pay for an advert by Google and there aren't enough adverts. P people have a budget. I, I will spend $100 a day and I want people to use the words lose rapid weight and I will pay up to $100 a day and they, they set their figures, and there's a cost per click. So some of them are five cents, and some of them are, are thirty dollars. And they set a, a, a maximum limit that they can spend. And this person has set a limit and is not reaching it. So this person is willing to give Google a hundred dollars a day, and they're only giving Google eighty. So that's where you write the article. And this is the keyword that you use. Okay? Now, you need to make sure that this is high enough, this still has spaces, and that this is the right parameters. So, this is what you're going to write down. Cost per click needs to be between $1 and $10. If it's over $10, if it's like $30, it's, there's just too much, um, too many other people writing. You know what we said, you can write about books, you can write about scooters, but you need to look in the middle. Yes. I'm finding you the, in the middle for the, for the robots. Okay. okay? Um, so your cost per click needs to be between $1 and $10. Your advertiser competition needs to be um, really between 80 and 90%, but definitely less than 100%. Can you see here? Look, all of these are just full. Loads of them are full. Um, and your global monthly search volume needs to be between 1,000 and 10,000. Now, they're guidelines for, you know, what's best. And so, if this, this is ideally between 80-90%, if it's at 70, it's fine. And I, I wouldn't go below a dollar here, but you know, if, if it was twelve, that's fine. So, so we're roughly, so one to ten here, eighty to ninety here, and thousand to ten thousand here. What was this one? Well, this is local and this is global. So you're writing globally. So local should be so between one and no, ten. Ignore local. What was between one and ten? Um, estimated dollars. CPC cost per click one dollar one dollar and ten dollars global monthly search volume between one thousand and ten thousand and that's what you're looking for and the eighty to ninety percent was what? advertiser competition okay. now sometimes you type in a word I'd say like lose weight and, and everything here is is um, a hundred percent. Now you can say, well, I'm really knowledgeable about this topic, and I really like to write it. And you know, if you want to go ahead, but if you if you're targeting to earn money, then you know this is this is what you look at. Now gardening just looked good to what I could see. Okay, so there's a lot of gaps here. Um, so you're only interested. You know, one dollar and up. 
which there's, there's quite a few. And this, oh, you see, this isn't so good because these are higher. Okay, so we're looking 1,000 to 10,000 here. So if you wrote an article um, about gardening, I would get the phrase gardener's gift in the article. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so from this, you plan what you're going to put in the article and then I'd look at design garden online and sometimes you, you say you, gifts for the gardener no I'd have to say gifts. yes you you have to get that specific, practical no. gift for the no. gardener if you would that work uh, uh, hold on a if, practical if you squash all these keywords in your article then your people because you're writing for people and bots your people don't like to read because it sounds it just sounds yucky. So you have to have this middle ground between interesting article and, and getting these words in. Question. So these are keywords that need to be placed within the article, the, the content of the article, not in the tags? Okay. Or both? Ideally in the content. Gotcha. And um, also, um, pre the G Google um, takes more priority over the title and the URL and then it takes priority over the first paragraph. Mm -hmm. Then it takes priority over the rest of the article and then the tags. So if you can get it in the article and near the beginning, that's good. And if you can't, put it in the tags. Okay. And that's okay. what I said about you can often... Um, I'm going to write a, an article about... Um, See, this is where I use different spellings like ducky and ducky, or I can use homeschool as one word and homeschool as two words. So you can use the same thing, but it's in... So there's a technique for getting your title different from your URL and getting your keywords in there. Okay. 